Turks and Caicos Islanders, 34-year-old Stevenson Mora, seen here in red, George Arthur Jr., 32, in black, and Darrison Nash, 17, seen here in white, spent Christmas behind bars remanded in police custody since December 21st when they were stopped and arrested while driving a rodeo jeep on Leeward Highway following the aggravated burglary in Venetian Road. The men appeared before Magistrate Clifton Warner in the Magistrate's Court yesterday, which concluded today discussing the call for DNA samples by the Crown and bail. The three men all pled not guilty to joint charges of possession of ammunition in connection to five rounds of ammunition and a 9mm firearm and did not enter a plea on charges of aggravated burglary since the matter was indictable. Darrison Nash, son of Detective Timothy Nash of the TCI Police Force, pled not guilty to an additional charge of handling stolen goods, specifically an iPod Classic found in his pocket alleged to have belonged to one of the family members. Crown Prosecutor Leonard Franklin made an application for DNA samples, hair samples and cheek swabs from the suspects. Only Morris, who had no legal representation, and Arthur, who was being represented by Arthur Hamilton of Hamilton Hamilton & Co. Law Firm, agreed. Nash's attorney Clayton Green of Stanfield and Green Law Firm objected to the application and advised Magistrate Warner to do the same on the basis that after cross-examining investigating officer for the case, Tamiko Glinton, too many questions surrounding their initial investigation were left unanswered and there appeared to be weak evidence. Clinton revealed today that blood samples and five Sprite soda cans, which one of the masked men was witnessed to have drank from, along with fingerprints, were all retrieved from the crime scene. Warner, after deliberations of there being strong possible links to the allegations made and in compliance with recent police ordinance amendments, highlighted by Prosecutor Franklin, ordered that DNA samples be taken from all three suspects, which was done today. Morris and Arthur were each granted a $6,000 bail and Nash $8,000 with conditions, which the Crown did not oppose. It was on December 21st when a gang of masked men armed with machetes barged into the vacation home of a Canadian family, terrorized them and stole $8,400 worth of personal items, including their passports. News 4 will continue to follow this story. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.